whole lot of damn money. A whole lot of money. But yeah, that's how I feel. I mean, the scene is cool, but after you've done it all of damn near everything, or you know, some of the biggest parties, it's like they all the same, really. So it's like after a while, you just just want to have that financial freedom to do whatever you want to do. You know what I'm saying? We gonna be these people getting rushed into the door. You know what I mean? So me being a fashion icon and a style influencer, one of the biggest of the world right now, as just a young legend already made, you never know where the world could take you. Why I sleep, this the day dreams we could reach. Five wisdom teeth when I speak. Focusing on photos, this the hallway to the streets. Finally, a few blocks from my phone. Always when I walk slow, time got me thinking about the space up in the condo. Crash turn the treasure down to earth, you should just line them up. Fashion week, take a whole lot of photos, I could lead the lead. This interface time, I just call to see him. That ain't even half the battle. How you win the war, end up losing the castle. Ain't nobody coming to your defense. Living my this ain't dreams. the start of the beginning, this, this the birthday. beginning of the end. Mom, I love you. Living my dreams. My ancestor died teaching me the blueprint to freedom, and it's time to live to show them that I heard them. So I'm out here representing. Um, well, Top Boy just came out on Netflix. So once, uh, once fashion is over, you know, my them gotta watch Top Boy from Dumbo. Yeah. Okay, thank Yeah, so I was telling him basically I have a podcast. Oh, it's a mental health podcast, and during Fashion Week, I'm just walking around interviewing people on how they're managing their mental health during Fashion Week. And what made you want to be interested in Oh, well, person of color, I think we all know like how challenging it is, like being in any industry. So, resources on how to help manage my mental health as I go through like my day to day and really just those hard times. You know, I just wanted better ways to manage it. So. You take my picture. I'm not dressed like you know. My brother. How you yes, doing? Sir. Good? Yeah, good, man. How you been, man? Yeah, good, good. Always a pleasure, OG. Always yeah, a pleasure. Happy belated birthday. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Nice to see you guys, man. What's up, man? Baron, how you know? Fox, what's up, man? Boy, Fox in the building. How long have you been out here? About noon? Yeah. Yeah, I definitely do feel like it's definitely a domino effect. That's kind of a thing I realize in photography, like a photographer will see someone taking a picture then another photographer will feel like kind of, in a sense, obligated to take a picture. So it kind of just created a domino effect that lasted like almost two hours, like looking at it. I was like, damn, this shit's... I mean, luckily we were there because we got to like see Angela Bassett. Um, and there's like some other cool people with like cool outfits and stuff. I don't know who they are, but their fits were pretty cool. Bro, my nigga Joey bro, is a fucking inspiration, my nigga. My nigga pulled through, hold on, man. My nigga pulled through, hold on. I ain't been here for this shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, 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 Regular shit, me and, me and Spielberg, we've been talking for a little minute, you know? But schedules ain't meet up, you know, politics. But, you know, I'm gonna have Jed behind the camera, walk away smiling. He's gonna be on the first camera. We got a couple other names on the raps. But when, we, when the shit come out, just please support. That's all I ask. Just, you know, I mean, it does cost, but it's your boy. Fashion Week 2023. Beyond. I seen it with the, um, the video with you and Dad. Yes, you know what I mean? And what I was telling y'all was that they the 2003 paid in full posse. You know what I'm saying? Minus the rappers and all that. Yes, Keep doing what y'all doing and um, don't compromise yourself. Yes, sir. That's it, man. Stay with the integrity. Yes, Easy. <laughs> I swear it's like a little dog. <laughs> I love it. You must be burning up. It's I'm not. Why am I even sweating? Well, you're not moving. Oh, yeah. I'm like dying. I'm like passing out over there. I love it. You gotta keep cool from within. Cool. I wish I had an internal air conditioner. Yeah, I do. You I gotta share one. your you share your good. secret. <laughs> it's fabulous. I love it. I love it. Heard him. Heard him. I'm trying not to cry.
can always do this to me. I'm not fine. I'm too happy to hear it has a career in this game definitely in the model fashion world people definitely flock to the look and loved how it looked and you know I could see people you know wanting to put her in shows and things like that so I think it's definitely a good start and you know something that she should look into and think about because you know people make a great living off of just being in magazines and all types of shit walking runways stuff like that but yeah, a lot of people that was out there wasn't even looking as great. So it's like, definitely could do that and, you know, yes. make a great career out of it. I cannot. Yeah, like every time saying. I I see, I enjoy what I see. Thank you. And I'm so Are we proud. making oh you proud? God, <laughs> <laughs> it's so hot. I said, like, how do you even wear those pants? You know I do this. You don't, you don't sweat. Very At all, just a little bit, just really, <laughs> little. My mom, Alex is my Soho mom, and I just love her. Like that's it, you know. But she's an Alexander McQueen. Alex is an Alexander McQueen. You know, even though she thinks that I'm bougie now, but you know, I ain't worked this hard to stay the same. Yeah, Do you know you're you famous? That's only science fiction. Yo, we gotta get a pick, bro. Come on. <laughs> oh, you know what I just thought about though? What? What if his job is on his ass? About it? He didn't do nothing wrong though. No, because remember how that girl went famous and got fired? Which one? From Home Depot, just for taking, just for looking good. Really? Oh, mm -hmm. I never heard of that. It's because like, this is what you're doing at work? But he was really working while he was doing it. He no, was he's good at Social media and the internet can easily like help you portray for you to be someone you're not or someone you are. Like sometimes social media doesn't even do people justice. They're even better in person. So yeah, it's just definitely an experience. But I don't want to change for anything. Like I wouldn't necessarily care about follows and likes and all that stuff. Like as long as I just put myself out there and I'm authentically genuine and I can say like, yeah, this is me. Like this is who I am. I never change for anybody. Like, you know, just that and a third and I'm, I'm cool, like I'm content with all of it. Hold up, one, two. Fire. What's your name? Legend Already Made. Legend Already Made. Kevin. Kevin. Pleasure, boss. Nice to meet you, bro. What y'all doing out here? Fashion Week drip. Word. What do you think about his style? Different is to say the least, of course. That's it. I don't think much needs to be said. <laughs> y'all here dripping Fashion Week, right? What what else you gotta say about that? You can just see it.
He is an icon, and he continues to inspire young designers today. Damn. Emerge Fashion Show presents the 2023 Fashion Innovator Award to Dada Dan. Dapper Dan is a man from the hood, the poorest streets of Harlem, and his influence turned fashion into a probably a trillion dollar business, which just goes to show that your beginning does not dictate your destination and anything you put your mind to, not only can you achieve, but if you really believe in yourself, it can actually come true. <laughs> Outfits were really cool. I saw a lot of things that I would consider wearing or probably wear certain pieces of it. Um, I got like two job opportunities, but I'm not gonna be here for it, so. I mean, I mean, it's cool to know that at least people were interested, so. For next time at least. Because yeah, Diddy, 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 Diddy's at Ned, right? Yeah. Ned is 34th Street. Yeah, yeah. The next location is Cardi B, Times Square, makes sense. Then you look at GQ Lafayette downtown. <laughs> Way far from, from, from yeah, the music shit. Yeah. It's, it's what it is. <laughs> I do this so I gotta know what I'm doing. <laughs> hey man, you convinced it, nigga. You bad convinced it, nigga. Nah, you convinced it. like, nah, that shit like, makes man. sense. What you call it? It's the VMAs today and this fashion week. Party throwing a party, Diddy throwing a party. That but then them just do something like it's up. So we leaving GQ. We didn't get in anyways. <laughs> so it don't even matter. Like we going to the Cardi B shit. So let's see if we get in that. Oh yeah, bro. We've been at two different locations trying to look for this Cardi B party, a BMA's party. First location, nope. Second location, nope. It's the third location. Yeah, it's my point. Yo, you are real. <laughs> nah, I need a picture with this nigga, son. <laughs> Yo, son, you are fresh. Yo, this is some different type shit. <laughs> Who this nigga, Littles? <laughs> Hold on, son. Nah, son. I need a pic. Yo, this Smitty New York City, you know what it is. Talk is fucking cheap, nigga. I don't know if that's a camera or what, but yeah, yo, is. you is the top shotter. Thank you. What's your name? Legend Already Made. Legend Already Made? I'm yes, Smitty, all right? Smitty. You went with me. You you with me. How you feeling? Bro, you been going crazy. Hey, same. Likewise, you too, nigga. By the way, it's the best dancer. I like that. Talk your shit, nigga. Where I'm you from? Saying. Where you from? I'm from Memphis, fool. Memphis? Oh, yeah. alright, cool. Talk your shit. Hey. Look, good nigga good. got the spliffy shit. Y'all niggas fresh, son. Y'all Memphis. Before yeah. you leave, though, the door is closed. Yeah. The door is closed. But before you go home, everybody, you got to close. Yeah, we've been to three different spots. It was a no go. So now we're just gonna end up at the Diddy stuff. You can see there's already a line outside.
So you see it. If you don't know Richie, man, we need y'all to walk out, man. You know anybody here? You know anybody here? You know anybody here? You know anybody here? The event was crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, being the only nigga that got in out the crew, like, you know what I'm saying? It was crazy, but, um, like, still good luck to everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't knock niggas down because niggas get in, bro. You feel me, Joe? It's okay, bro. Everybody don't win, you feel me? Like, somebody gotta win the ring. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why it's a championship. It was a Diddy, Diddy party. It got crazy as a force. Um, finally going back to the crib, man. A little tired, but you know, we finally did it. It was a beautiful day, as you can see from everything that happened. We just kept pushing, we just kept moving forward. We never stopped. We just kept going. You know, we see all the behind the scenes. This is how we get it done. You know what I mean? The party was hectic. Diddy party was. Crazy, hectic. I love Diddy Party though. If it didn't rain, we gonna be, I would really be outside catching all the footage. You know, you gotta understand, different parties is a rundown thing, different parties is a catch the footage thing, some parties is a getting in thing. Then some parties is a, you don't know which one, you trying to do all three, and Confucius said you chase two birds, you catch none. So it's like you had to stick to one thing. If you was gonna run down everybody, everybody's just gonna run down. If you was gonna try to get in, you was gonna try to get in. And if you was gonna just catch the footage, you was gonna catch the footage. I was trying to do all three, which I did not complete almost any. But another thing is it's like, bro, it's just the exposure. You just don't never know who's around watching you. He was like, yo, I seen this nigga from LA. Ah. I, like, you don't gotta get in. It ain't about getting in, it's about people that at upper echelon keep on seeing you. That's what it's about. You're just leaving. Sad, man. Miss being already, cause you know what I'm saying. She's part of the gang, but I just ran up some stairs. So if you're wondering why I'm breathing hard, <laughs> I'm out of shape. <laughs> I'm out of town. I'm thinking with my round. Ski. <laughs> um, yeah, but what's he being again? She she killed it. She super killed it. We missed her already, but. She gotta go. <laughs> yeah, it's time for you to go, bro. You can't be riding forever. You try to cloud up off the kid, you know? Like nonstop, thank you, and you like you know you know what you do, thank and, you, and, and and since we linked up like thank years you, ago, like you, just bro. knowing that it just don't stop. That means a lot coming from you, but you know Dude, that, right? That's you know that's that. that's my blood type. Oh. That's my blood type, like brother, like 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 another version of me in this different vessel, and I love it, man. I love it. I appreciate you even being here. Thank you, bro. I have some goodies too. Thank I'm glad. You. I'm glad I put out some goodies. So for you, you get to take whatever goodies that. I come out of here and I know she's not gonna let me give you the scarf, so I'm gonna take that out for her. This is for Mike. And then this is this is um some of the hand um custom stuff that I do. Can you that, speak you know, about it? Can you talk about it? Talk oh piece oh yeah, that shit. This I don't know if you guys know. Protect your heart. It's, 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 in, it's everywhere. in every city. It's everywhere. It's in every floor. Every and floor. It's every sidewalk. Every everywhere. I, I and it's, it's, it's a simple. Always. It's a simple reminder, man, to just. To just go here, you know what I'm saying? Connect with this that's in here, which is where your truth is. You know what I'm saying? Connect with your truth. That's the one I You know, want. And, and be and be you, authentically you. You know what I'm saying? And then of course, is a spiritual calling. All my spiritual, um, you know, uplifting kind of people. So it's just all about protecting your heart and protecting your energy. And we got this custom-made joints. So you see what I'm rocking. Make sure he got. Oh damn. 
Oh man, this is this is a special moment because because like you really know what this man wears. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And and he just came out of the top. Come on, yeah, take bro, a picture because like, of D. Take a picture, please, because this is this is a special moment. Not just for me, but for him too. <laughs> I just want to thank, uh, say thank you to everyone that came out today. This is big for cookies, you know. A lot of food restaurants and groups were scared to do a collaboration with us, but look what it brought out. This is a plant on plant collaboration, so thank you guys for coming out. It's now 420. We're about to open up the doors. I'll see you guys inside. That milkshake is incredible. I just killed one myself. So thank you guys for coming out. See y'all in a minute. And with that, it is officially 420. Happy 420. Let's go. Shout out to my homegirl Didi for bringing me through. I gotta go to the airport mad soon. Um, you know what I'm saying? So it's been a vibe. Shout out to Burner, you know what I'm saying? Burner in the building. Shout out to Cookies. Shout out to Plant Burger. Shout out to everybody, man. That's been showing love in New York, getting it popping. I wish I could stay longer, but you know what I'm saying? I gotta go back. I'm out. So you know from the grand Yeah, exactly. What you think about what you think about what you got going on? What, clothes wise? Yeah. What are you doing with fashion? Honestly, I think what you're doing with fashion is groundbreaking for real. I mean, when you look at everything um, from the beginning, as far as fashion, he's bringing out a whole new style and reinventing something that's, that, that's refreshing to New York. New York is the mecca of a lot of things. Basketball, fashion, um, style, yeah, you know I mean? So what he's bringing is something fresh. I mean, um, I, want, I actually think everybody should stay in tune for what he got going on. You feel me? Because, um, I think, I think I think what you got going on is something for real, so I mean just I'm happy.